Hi folks, nice to high on Android.com where we get on Android every freaking day. Anyway, I've got a new ROM for you guys. For those of you with a Galaxy S5, this will work on the T-Mobile S5, Sprint S5, US Cellular S5 if you have the international models with Qualcomm uh, chip such as the uh, G900F, G900M. Uh, for the sorry for those of you with AT&T or Verizon S5, you're not going to be able to install cool ROMs like this uh, or any USB ROMs. Uh, my suggestion is to switch carriers. So this ROM is really cool. This is the Fusion ROM. If you want to get like a super fast uh, ROM, USB ROM running on the latest Lollipop, definitely check this one out. This is super fast without even any overclocking. Uh, it also comes with its own custom kernel. And I just love this ROM. Uh, you have to definitely try it. All right, let me go ahead and go over some of the features. Uh, if you go into settings, Fusion, oh, before that, make sure you enable roots. For those of you, uh, ooh, I just sold an item. Uh, go to about, oh, sorry, go to developer options here and go to root access. Make sure you enable apps in ADB. There's a lot of root apps. If you don't do that, your phone might be funky. So do that. The first thing you should do after you install it. All right, so after you do that, go into Fusion, and you can go ahead and customize your phone just the way you want to. So let me go over some of these. Um, you've got the app circle bar here. If you enable this, you'll be able to add your favorite apps and then launch it anytime you touch. And you can go ahead and change the trigger width, position. Uh, I like to actually put it on the top half. Uh, so go up here. That way it doesn't interfere with your keyboard. I uh, love that option. That's one of my favorite features. Uh, you can customize your clear all recent location. Also, you can disable camera dialer in lock screen. All right, animation, you can go ahead and customize the system animation so you can make it really, really cool. And if you go into display, uh, you can go ahead and change the DPI, screen recorder, settings, and oops, go into notification drawer. Oh, this is really cool. You can go ahead and customize all of your tiles, add more, more tiles. Yeah. Okay, I've added the maximum, but you can go ahead and uh, customize it just the way you want to. And smart pull down, all that good stuff. Double tap to sleep. All right, on the status bar, it is good stuff. Um, navigation, gesture, gestures, gesture anywhere. All right, all that good stuff you can uh, customize. And also equalizer, you get Viper for Android working out of the box. You just have to install it to reboot, that's it. I love it. If you go into advanced, this is where you can overclock your phone. Uh, kernel tweaker here. Again, you have to enable root, otherwise it's going to get all funky on you. My recommended setting is 2.764 gigahertz. Uh, hit that button, set it to 2.764. You should be fine for most of you. Don't go higher, then your phone will start rebooting. But uh, that's a little bit higher than actually uh, Note 4 clock, which is 2. Point, I think 2.699. Um, so you'll get Note 4 speeds right on your Galaxy S5 with that. And also GPU, uh, set it to 657 megahertz so you can overclock it there. Um, it's, it runs really fast like this. I've gotten around 45,000 on Antutu, which is almost like a Note 4. All right, also make sure you set, op, uh, boot, set on boot, 10 second delay. That way, after it boots, after 10 seconds, it's going to set whatever you set. But do make sure, do a test like with Antutu before you do that because, you know, if, if you overclock it too much and then it'll keep rebooting and then you'll have to reinstall the ROM or something. All right, not something, but that's what you'll have to do. Also, an ad blocker on board. Now, the coolest part about this ROM is that you can go ahead and use a micro SD card, uh, you know, just like TouchWiz. But starting with Lollipop, um, you are now able to use XFAT. Uh, for your micro SD card. So you will now have storage problems like you did with KitKat and older versions before you have to format it as NTFS. All right, another really cool thing. Wow, this thing supports 4K recording. So there's absolutely no reason to stay on TouchWiz. Um, you know, I can do 4K just fine, which I really like. This was an option that was always missing. I was like, when is it going to be here? But it's here, UHC 4K works just fine. Flawless, flawless. And you can go ahead and grab the OnePlus One camera also if you want to. Uh, just grab the OnePlus One kit, get the one with uh, out the lock screen. 
just get the one without everything. All right, that's it pretty much, but it is an awesome ROM. And let me end it with a speed test here. Go ahead and let me turn on the uh, KT monitor. And I'm going to go ahead and close out all my apps. Oops, it's that button. All right, go ahead and close out of all your apps. And then we'll do an N22, and you'll be able to see uh, it's see it actually overclocking while it's doing it. So the reason why only one CPU is running at the beginning of the test, that's because it's doing center, uh, single integer performance. That only tests one core of whatever CPU. So this CPU has four cores. Now with that test, it's only going to test one of them. So it's kind of switching back and forth depending you know, on the kernel you installed. And after that, when it does multi-threading, you'll see all of the cores going up pretty high. Um, also, this, this is uh, great. You can just kind of run it alongside with Antutu. That way you can actually see uh, what's being used. But I'm going to go ahead and skip all of this because you guys probably want to uh, just see the numbers. So I'll leave it right here. And we're going to go ahead and fast forward this. And boom shakalaka, you can see a pretty good performance, 44,425. Um, so definitely check it out for this week's ROM. The installation is pretty much the same. Um, you know, just go ahead and reboot into clock mod recovery, torp recovery, uh, format system, and then go ahead and install the ROM, uh, install the zip, uh, G apps, and reboot, that's it. I'll, I'll have a link to uh, my uh, torp installation instructions, which I recommend. Um, and that's about it and I hope you guys enjoy this I will see you guys and thanks guys for watching this video this is my second YouTube channel covering the ROMs and my extra videos if you want to see my main videos go ahead and subscribe uh, to my main channel over at Zetomax uh, where I cover stuff like the Nexus 6 the Note Edge uh, Note 4 and all of the latest Android gadgets and I will see you guys soon as always stay on Android